Hello there, welcome to our channel. Kindly subscribe, comment, like, and also share. Well, I think what they've done is one of the most courageous and fearless oh. things I've seen. I think they're, uh, I think to walk away from all of that, uh, I mean, the public grief that we know about, but to all of that family pain. Mm. Well, we should think of the Queen as a great grandmother, and we should think of Prince Charles as a dad. I mean, they will all be suffering from this hugely. Um, and Harry has chosen to walk away from all of that to protect his wife and his children. Um, and I think that you, you've got the analysis of the media totally right, that the angriest media is from the angriest people or the people feeding mm. Mr. and Mrs. Angry. Um, <laughs> but I think all of us need to look at ourselves uh, and think of this as a family that's been blowing itself apart, probably no more seriously than many families are going through or have gone through and haven't been walked to, able to walk away. Mm. But we're thinking of these, as, if we think of them as human beings, as sons and daughters and sisters-in-laws and mother-in-laws and uh, great-grandmothers and great-grandfathers, you know, our hearts should be bleeding for these two. Um, I, it, uh, it, I, I mean, you're not in any way suggesting they should be bleeding more for these two than for, for people, you know, stuck no. in a dinghy in the middle of the English Channel or, or, or living in, no. in Syria no, at the I, time, or even people using food banks. But it's not either or, is it? This is one of the great mysteries not, of our it's era. It's not either or. You know, and, and we are showing ourselves more and more to be a nation with less and less compassion yeah, and sure. less and less tolerance of different people, different choices. I mean, that was what was going on in the family. I mean, without knowing any of the detail or any of the personalities involved, <laughs> it was differences of opinion, it's differences of definition of duty, it's yes. different differences of definition of loyalty. And for Megan, what she was being asked to become was completely impossible for her to be who she really it, it was. It was, can you protect us as well, that resonated with me. Or, or we just yes. wanted can some help, we wanted no. some protection. Can you help me? No. Uh, because what we're yeah. being exposed to is different from what everybody else has been exposed to. So, so yeah. the fact that we're getting less help and support is, is the argument they made. Is, is, yes. it, makes us, it actually makes sense of everything. But if you don't understand, then you are much more easily manipulated into a kind of unfocused anger, aren't you? Or into, a, into well, a indignation. We and we, we, we see this with every rabbit hole and conspiracy theory going. The anti-vaxxers, the anti-maskers, the you know, Bill Gates theorists. Mm. I mean, the, the, uh, sensible, intelligent people get hooked up in this because they're only exposed to their own bubble and they're terrified of being wrong. I guess we are all terrified of being wrong at some stage in our life. But what I saw... Well, so, some, of, some of us less than others. Well, no, um, so, some, of mean, us, some of us have written a book about it, Adrian, but no one likes a, self -pub I, I, no one likes a I, self-publicist. I, I, and I've read them both. Oh, um, uh, uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, I, I think that this ability to be vulnerable and wrong and human uh, is what they've shown us in that interview. Um, I believed every word of it. I don't believe they were mincing their words. Um, they did announce at the beginning of the interview that they weren't being paid for it. Mm. Um, uh, they need, well, they want to get their and, version of events on, on the record. And, and They want to get their version of events on the record to appeal to the reasonable, sensible, rational, nuanced thinkers in society, which are... A decision born out of necessity. We chose freedom for ourselves and for our children. The weight of tradition, the suffocating expectations, it was all too much. Leaving was never the plan, but it became the only option. The world watched, their curiosity insatiable. Headlines screamed, judgments flew. But behind the palace walls, a different story unfolded. A story of quiet desperation, of stifled voices, of a system resistant to change. We yearned for a life less ordinary, a life where we could define our own narrative. A life where our children could grow up free from the constraints of an antiquated institution. Our departure was not a rejection, but a reclamation of our lives. This was our truth our story, and we were finally ready to tell it. The media frenzy was relentless. Cameras followed our every move, their lenses distorting our reality. Every smile scrutinized, every tear dissected. The narrative spun out of control, fueled by speculation and innuendo. We became pawns in a game we never agreed to play. Our lives, our love, our pain, splashed across front pages. The truth, elusive, lost in a sea of sensationalism. The pressure was immense, suffocating. The constant barrage of negativity took its toll. Mental health, once a taboo subject, became our daily reality. We fought to stay afloat, to protect our sanity, to shield our children from the storm. But amidst the chaos, we found strength in each other. Our love, 
our bond, our shared purpose became our anchor. We would weather this storm together. The public's fascination with the royal family is undeniable. But somewhere along the way, empathy faded. We were no longer seen as human beings, but as characters in a fairy tale, immune to pain, devoid of feelings. The expectation to remain silent, to smile and wave through the pain, was suffocating. We were trapped in a gilded cage, our humanity stripped away. The world saw the fairy tale, but behind the curtain, the reality was far more complex. We are not asking for pity, but for understanding. To be seen as individuals with our own hopes, dreams and vulnerabilities. To be afforded the same compassion and respect as anyone else. Our story is a reminder that behind the titles and tiaras, we are all human. We all feel pain, we all bleed, we all deserve to be treated with dignity and respect. The pressure was immense. The constant scrutiny, the relentless criticism, it took its toll. Mental health, once a taboo subject, became our daily battle. The weight of the world, or at least the world's perception of us, felt unbearable. Speaking out about our struggles was not easy. The fear of judgment, of being deemed weak or unfit, was very real. But we knew we had to break the silence. Our story, our pain, had the power to help others. The response was overwhelming. Millions shared their own stories, their own struggles with mental health. The stigma began to crumble, replaced by a wave of empathy and understanding. Our vulnerability became our strength. By sharing our truth, we hope to encourage others to do the same, to seek help, to know they are not alone. Mental health matters. It's time we start treating it that way. Leaving the royal family was not a rejection, but a reclaiming. A reclaiming of our lives, our voices, our right to choose our own path. It was a leap of faith, a step into the unknown, driven by a deep desire for authenticity and freedom. We traded the gilded cage for the freedom to write our own story, to pursue our passions, to use our platform for good, to raise our children in an environment of love and acceptance. The journey has not been without its challenges, but with each obstacle overcome, we grow stronger, more resilient, more committed to our truth. We are building a new life, one defined by purpose and authenticity. This is our journey, our adventure. We are excited to see where it leads, to embrace the unknown, and to create a future filled with meaning and purpose. The royal family is steeped in tradition, bound by duty and protocol. It is a system that demands conformity, that values silence over outspokenness, that prioritizes the institution over the individual. Navigating this complex web of expectations while staying true to ourselves was a constant challenge. The weight of legacy, of history, of expectations passed down through generations was heavy on our shoulders. We yearned for understanding, for flexibility, for a willingness to evolve. But the institution, resistant to change, clung tightly to the old ways. The clash between tradition and modernity, between duty and personal fulfillment, became increasingly difficult to reconcile. Ultimately, we had to choose. We chose our happiness, our mental well-being, our right to define our own lives. It was a difficult decision, but one we made with conviction and a deep sense of purpose. Leaving the royal family meant redefining ourselves, shedding the roles that were thrust upon us and embracing the opportunity to create new ones. We were no longer defined by titles or lineage, but by our own passions and aspirations. It was a liberating experience, 